Have you ever thought of Valve's games being in the same universe? No? Well, congratulations, you're probably normal if that's the case. I have such a wild theory that it actually challenges MadPat's like, newest video on him being Dream's father, which is hilarious, but this one is even somehow worse, trust me. If you read the title of the video, you might already be getting some ideas as to what this theory might be, and trust me, it's nothing that complex, it's just a simple, stupid theory. Anyway, enough blabbering around, what is this theory? It's actually kind of like the Pixar theory, where I'm implying that every single game that Valve has ever made, official, non-mod ones, no mod games, take place in the same universe. Now I know it sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. There's a bit of evidence that suggests that all of these games may or may not be connected. Anyway, with that long ass intro out of the way, let's begin. Well, what would we have to start with first? First, we would have to take all the clues to actually have evidence that these games happen in the same universe. And luckily for us, I already have that. I think everyone knows, and I think it's pretty obvious that Portal and Half-Life are confirmed to take place in the same universe. It's confirmed by Valve indirectly, I mean, you can see all the signs uh, if you played the game. There's no reason to talk about this topic since it's explained in the game. It's explained throughout Portal 1 and Portal 2, and you put the pieces together and get the story of how Half-Life 2 and Portal 2 are connected. So Black Mesa is a company in Half-Life 2 that is competing against Aperture Science and um, their technology that they have. And um, if you want to learn more about these, there's probably like a lot of videos out there that explain the thing more in detail than I will. To sum it up, Portal and Half-Life canonically are in the same universe, but I'm trying to prove something else here today, so let's move on. How could Left 4 Dead and Half-Life be potentially in the same universe? They have a whole different story to tell, is probably what you're saying, but hear me out. Left 4 Dead occurs in Pennsylvania, which is in the United States, opposed to Half-Life, which happens in Eastern Europe. So what I'm saying is that the events of Half-Life take place in Europe, and the events of Left 4 Dead take place in America. Now this is enough evidence obviously to say that Half-Life and Left 4 Dead take place in the same universe, but if you think about it, Europe was way easier to just take over than America due to the amount of zombies. Or I mean, infected, my bad. Now I have a theory as to how the flu came to be in Left 4 Dead, but you have to stick with me for the later part of the video. Let's not ignore the elephant in the room. What is this, Valve? Is there something you're not telling us? 
The description of AppSap says that Manco got a great deal from a nice lady, which is obviously referring to GLaDOS, and the wiki says that it's a portmanteau of Aperture and Sapper. I literally never would have guessed it, I only looked at the wiki now, so oh my god, how brilliant Valve. There's also the long fall boots, but that's really from the Poker Night game that I never played, but you know, our biggest evidence so far for TF2 is the Aperture Sapper and yes, I know it's it's not a lot, but trust me, it will all make sense in the end when I introduce you to the next step, or I mean part, whatever. Introducing D timeline. So basically the games with the earliest year and the latest year. That's 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 pretty much it. Now you may be saying, but what about the other games such as Day of Defeat or Ricochet? Well don't worry, we'll get to that in the timeline. Now with all of these connections out of the way, let's begin to build our timeline. Before we begin, I have to make it absolutely crystal clear that I'm not including Dota 2 or Ricochet or whatever else will fall on the list as I'm making this timeline. Because first of all, Dota 2 has no specific year, it's never said, it's never spoken anywhere, so that's not happening. And the Ricochet <laughs> speaks for itself, doesn't it? Let us actually commence forward though, eh? So, Day of Defeat. Day of Defeat takes place during the Second World War, which means that it's obviously gonna be first, because all of these games actually come after the Second World War. Who would have guessed? World War II began on September 1st, 1939 and ended on September 2nd, 1945, which means that, yes, it's actually the first game to start in our timeline. Believe it or not, Team Fortress 2 comes right after Day of Defeat because it supposedly takes place in 1968, which is then followed by Half-Life, and Half-Life doesn't really have a proper date. It's... the wiki says that it could be any day from 2000 to 2009, so we have to put it here, but we don't know the proper date. According to the Left 4 Dead wiki, Left 4 Dead takes place around October 2009 or just around 2008 and 2009 because there's memorial walls giving names to those who have died in the infection. Which makes me speculate that Half-Life takes place before Left 4 Dead and, uh, you know, it makes sense considering the fact that you don't see any rapid zombies in Half-Life 1, except the headcrab ones. Portal is also a weird one just like Half-Life because it occurs in 2000... Exactly, just like that. But we know that it occurs a short amount of time after the Combine invasion of Earth, which means that it's probably before Half-Life 2. Now why is it before Half-Life 2? That's because Gordon doesn't wake up during the invasion, he wakes up 20 years after the invasion. That's why Portal is before Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 takes place after Portal, which means that it takes place 20 years into the future from Half-Life 1, which could be 2020 whatever, so we're just gonna put it here. According to the wiki, Gordon's journey is 4 days long throughout the episodes and the base game, Half-Life 2. Forgot to mention Half-Life Blue Shift and Opposing Force, but we can assume that they take place at the same time Half-Life does. And Counter-Strike. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue what to do with this game. There are no hints to anything. I think it just, it just has to be left out like Dota and Ricochet because these just don't have any dates. And then the final game. 
the final game. I'm not gonna include anything else. I'm just gonna include this for the sake of it. Portal 2. Portal 2 is a weird one because there's an announcer right in the beginning saying how long you've been in suspension for. But the announcer glitches out and it adds like, I, I don't know how many nines, but it's so many that it led fans to speculate that it could be years, it could be months, it could be days. But even with the amount of how many nines there were, it would still be a lot into the future. So it could be a long time into the future, like after Gordon died of old age, after, I don't know, the Combine have been defeated, we just don't know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I should have said at the beginning that I wasn't gonna include deathmatch games or whatever the hell doesn't have a story to it. Well, except Day of Defeat, but that's actually a good game, don't get me wrong. Ricochet compared to Day of Defeat? Ugh, I hate that game. I hate Ricochet. It's so disgusting and makes my skin crawl. So to sum it up in the right order, Day of Defeat comes first, then Team Fortress 2, then Half-Life, then Left 4 Dead, then Portal, then Half-Life 2, then the episodes from Half-Life 2, and then at the end, Portal 2. Oh, and while I was editing this, I completely forgot that Half-Life Alex existed, but you can just put it between Half-Life and Half-Life 2, it's, it's no big deal. And while you stuck around for the end of this video, as I promised, I would say what my theory is about the green flu from Left 4 Dead. So, the Black Mesa Research Facility is located somewhere in New Mexico, which makes me believe that the green flu's origin is somewhere in America. I don't know where exactly, because it, it could have been just an alien that, you know, it was maybe killed, but some human maybe got some goop from it and, uh, you know, got the virus and then went to the No Mercy Hospital. Did I say No Mercy? That's the name of the campaign. I'm fucking stupid. Whatever, you, you get what I mean. And, uh, yeah, that would do it. If you liked the video, then like the video if you dislike the video then uh dislike the video and uh other than that have a good night slash day before i actually end the video i forgot that there is a plot hole about what i said with the aperture sapper team fortress 2 occurs in 1968 while portal occurs in 2000 something which means that how could the aperture sapper arrive to the mercenaries if the events of portal haven't even happened you know what i mean you can't really explain it, it's, it's just a plot hole, we can't do anything with this, it kind of ruins my theory but I'll let it slide this time.